कास्ट ऑन द ग्राउंड एचिकल ब्रिक एचिकल ओके तमिल नाम एचिकल हैंडमेड दिस इज हैंड लाइक वुडन मोल्ड ओके एंड दीस आर द मोल्ड्स आर कास्ट ऑन द ग्राउंड हां दे डोंट इवन हैव लाइक द मनी और इक्विपमेंट टू बाय द टेबल्स टू कास्ट सो इट्स ऑल बाय द फार्मर्स सो दे आर मेड इन वेरी स्मॉल क्वांटिटीज व्हेन देयर इज रेन द सॉइल सिल्ट कम्स अप and whatever they get they make it so all the bricks come from different different places okay and like there is no major environmental impact because it's the natural silt that is coming up and they don't have to segregate clay and waste and mm-hmm. they are extracted in small quantities so mm. from all different places mm. they're not as accurate as the industrial brick yeah, yeah. but it's much much more sustainable okay The wood used everywhere is mango wood. Mango wood. Nobody uses mango wood because Why? it's a myth that it doesn't last long or anything. So, so how long so has it been for this house? This is from the 90s. Okay, so more than 20 years. Yeah. So a lot of things are just myths. So we are trying out some things with bison boards. Again, the carpenter has told us that it's not a good idea. Do this. <laughs> said that where are you trying it over the pc boards yeah yeah those it's yeah. under like hmm. still good bison boards are generally used in interiors yeah and um, even in interiors making holes and everything is not advisable hmm. so hmm. compromises this thing so he said even if there is one person chance that it might work mm-hmm. we'll find a much cheaper alternative to plywood also you guys uh, you know she has used just plain granite as chacha yeah, and everything the granite is soft granite the vault this vault was an experiment inside the house yeah jack arch mm. and the other one wow this one too. wow this is all earth work like Made by potters, local potters. Uh, how are they standing? It's just interlocked in each other and filled with mortar. It's the catenary action of the form. Okay. It just like takes the forces. Oh. There's nothing else, no steel in this. And what about on top of those cups? What is on top of those cups? There must be some wire mesh. Is it It's like ferro? It's cement, very thin. To prevent, Slab, prevent uh, yeah, you know water from. Okay, to prevent water from. Yeah. You in this slab? Yeah. What's what's the case for this? This is the filler slab. Yeah, filler and slab. I have seen in. Uh, uh, so you know the coffered slab. Mm, coffered slab. Yeah, 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 yeah. Instead of having beams and then a slab, take very small and thin beams and make. So. You mean actually, the waffle slab? Yeah, it's oh. also called a waffle slab. Yeah. So waffle slab takes up a lot of. the shattering is very expensive yeah yeah obviously yeah obviously and in india the case is that labor is very cheap but materials are expensive yeah okay so she got the potters mm. so instead of paying for the shattering and everything to the company mm. she got the potters to make pots and they just take up space so you have to fill in less and less if you see these are actually beams thinner beams oh the wherever the concrete is there they are acting as thin beams okay Also, is the reinforcement running inside them? Yeah, reinforcement is running through immediately through these and also through alternate walls. Okay. So reinforcement run is more in this way. Hmm. It pays the local people. These are very cheap pots. Okay. And rather than the company or the hmm. cement company getting benefits. Mm-hmm. and it's not for nothing to do with aesthetics it just came out this way yeah so also i don't see a lintel over there yeah yeah all the beams they are in a circle like they have there is a concrete beam hmm. on top so okay then very thin yeah inside and then one layer of brick do you know and the this is do you know the what Uh, thickness and everything. This brick. Yeah, size. This is handmade, so. No, rand every. Random. Some bricks are twice as thick as the first one. <laughs> is that random? Okay. 
But yeah, if you want to see, we have a board. Like okay, interesting. Yeah. I think this is the candy cane. No, this is candy cane. There is one more type. This is longer than that. Okay. It's called the candy cane. Candy cane. Candy. Candy. Tamil. And even that is okay. Okay. Can you show that? Wow, they look bigger. Oh, sorry, so sorry. Our KV. Our office is raw only. Hmm? Our office is raw. There is place for mud and sand. <laughs> the thing is that since all these things are made by hand, mm -hmm. like intuitively they are designed as per human proportions. Like when you make things with machines, mm -hmm. like the industrial brick. Hmm. It can go wrong, but this one, is, since it's made by hand, it's easy to hold it in your hand. Yeah, it's like... It's like an iPhone. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's naturally, nobody's researched it or they don't know. They just made it because it's easier for them. Hmm. While you hold the normal industrial bit, it causes a strain on your hand. Yeah, yeah. So, everything, when you do it by hand, it's... <clears throat> also, the electrical pattern is coming out very interesting. Oh, that is a mistake from the contractor. So we are covering the Like that. You can see Which one? Okay, it should be inside. And you were telling about the lintel that there is a thin concrete inside. Yeah, these are all beams. Okay. Just uh, cladding of the bricks. All these are locally available. These. You see them so everywhere in Aurobel. Some 200 kilometers. And the thing is that at the beginning of our internship only, every material, she said in building, no matter how advanced it is, it all comes from the earth. Mm -hmm. Like go and trace every material and where it came from. So we actually went first to the people who made this. Mm -hmm. Then from there to the stone from where it was gotten. And then to, to the, the quarry. quarry. Okay. So not very far away. Even the brick. Mm. We went to the brick makers, mm. then where the soil came from, like where the bricks, bricks were made and to, from there where the soil was came from. Yeah. So you can, if you make changes at that level, yeah. like if you make changes with this guy mm. here, who made the vault cones, mm -hmm. if you start working with those people then it's not just that you get the Lego pieces and you build the architecture, mm -hmm. you start working with the material itself. Mm. Also, the jackers, due to the jackers, there is no reinforcement required. Yeah. So it also saves up on cost. And then the next 50% is all designed. So earlier this was, this, these two parallels was all that there was. And this was all open, like the house ended here. You can see this line. Mm. So there was, this was all closed. And there was a main entrance over here. So, so when was this part constructed? During your time? Five, seven years ago. Okay, five, seven years ago. And this, this wasn't there, this wasn't there. Mm -hmm. With a column and the vault was there. Okay. So this was an outdoor space completely. Okay. So, and we used to go horse riding in the morning and the horse used to come in and go into that room and everything. Like <laughs> this kind of thing. Okay. And then... But it doesn't look that it has been added later. It looks so natural. Yeah, and even these are the experiments. So, if you go, everyone has a different quality. Like, some are really bad, like corners and chipping and everything is happening. Mm. These are RCC, no? No, this is Ferrocene. Okay. So, later on, due to theft and all these issues started coming up in Oroville. So, we covered up everything. Okay. And that table was there. Okay. And this was all open. So this was the only functional space. That's why it was called the wall house because from outside you can see this wall and that one. <laughs> Did she bring this from somewhere? This is a, 
very old south indian temple column column yeah which is now split cut okay how many so that's the second part there so this is just the living space okay there's a outdoor space over there and a swimming pool swimming pool on top yeah okay this is a bedroom the kids room this is the working space and that is the open toilet okay we can't go up right no Okay. and this is also this must be rcc oh, yeah this is rcc but this is ips flooring right yeah mm. next to the pigment this unfolded plate since we didn't have too much mm. space to go up mm. this allows your entire foot to settle yeah. but then this is again coming out so it's mm. well so so whole metal plate is running inside no 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 not like the plates then there are these over here there are bars over here over here there are bars and over here as well okay and then there are tiles steps okay oh let's have yeah it's a very typical thing you can find by detail and can we see the back part the open toilet yeah, yeah. open toilet as well right from ground floor you can see everything very minimalistic like she didn't even want one wall extra than what's required <laughs> all come down to minimum even the steel she uses mm she doesn't even use a box section ever <laughs> it's always an angle because they've got the same amount of strength mm-hmm. why waste half the metal mm structures yeah i have heard even the stable if you see it's the legs and everything we'll see from inside later this is a room office working space yeah this is where pool and usually work okay this is the only plastered room <laughs> It was also an experiment last time. So this was an extension later. On. This part is extended. Which part? This part. Yeah, this. This room. Okay, this whole room. And where is the toilet? The upstairs. Okay, yeah. upstairs there is yeah, an open, open toilet. Room. I thought it's on the ground floor. There's the one over here as well. That that's like the best part of the house. The Not the swimming pool. Swimming pool too, but the toilet is an. I can show you the picture with it. Okay. <laughs> There's one room here, as well. and then these windows, hmm. which uh, each shutter also opens up mm-hmm. as a window, and then you can open the entire thing and come out also directly. Okay, it's and not. And from there also, from behind, you can go to the washroom. So if someone is living, then you can just close this door, hmm. and they can use it from inside. Wow! Oh, this is not even wow. <laughs> if you see the other one. <laughs> oh shit! Sorry. Yeah, I want to see how it's made. I mean, I know how it's made, but I want to see how it's made. Uh, go to the studio. They surely must be doing something. Okay, nice. This. This is also. So we have one contractor. He saw a Jaguar fitting just like this. She's like, "Can you give me some money? I want to try out to make this by myself. I'll bend it myself." Hmm. Like, okay, fine. Go ahead, experiment. It's it's not that 
quality or anything. Yeah, yeah. We just like wanted to do it. And uh, the roof is also okay. So th- like, what's between th- the slab and the corrugated roof? Nothing. The slab is on. Like the. Uh, the slab is the corrugated roof. No, the slab is at the s- slab itself is like this. Huh? Yeah. Wow. You can see it from maybe inside the room. So even the pool's base is like... We can't go inside this, right? This is also like a box window. It's very interesting, box window. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the slabs like that. Mm-hmm. What's your name? I'm Nikhil. Nikhil. Ketan. He's also an intern. He's uh, working with architect Jitesh Malik. He's an architect from Chandigarh, but he's now slowly settling in Auroville. Oh, Jitesh Malik. Yeah. Where is the office? In Panchkula. Chandigarh. Okay, and now in Auroville? Uh, in International oh, House. He is oh, at International House. Oh. So, he has got a project uh, nearby in Kulyapala. Hmm. So, he is at uh, What is the project? It's a uh, farmhouse. Okay. Hmm. Jitesh Malik? No? Jitesh. 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 He is a friend of Shailaja, so That's they usually work together in mean, a hmm. share office space. Can can we go inside that room? From Is somebody saying? Staying there. Okay. The entry for the plastered room is from the outside. Hmm? The entry for the plastered room is from the outside. Yeah. Poonam is a uh, uh, partner of Anupama. She's a friend. Okay. from different different places they are like children like sleeping on them you can very comfortably lie down you can sit nicely on that one. have they been chiseled for that no, no it's natural natural shapes all of them are natural. and all of them have been like meticulously leveled with JCB perfectly flat wherever there are flat too hmm the whole Oro model Petit Farm doesn't have any boundaries between any houses and all, right? Originally, that is how Oro is supposed to be. <laughs> In places where there are boundaries, there may be due to some reasons. The original plan was to not have any boundaries because nobody owns the land. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, wonderful. Is that portion also her? Is that a toilet? That's also coming up. It's a ferrocement toilet. Okay. All ferrocement. Basin and everything integrated. Hmm. Um, where does Umam works in Pondicherry office? No, no. Yeah. yeah. Pondicherry office was recently purchased. Okay. So maybe after November we'll start working there vigorously. Hmm. 
There were few holes in the slab. I've seen of my, where you were working. Yeah. Why are they there? Conduit. But the contractor made huge mistakes at times. Like electrical, everything is there's nothing as per the drawing. So that's why the wires were coming out from everywhere. Hmm. कैसा लगा?